So here are the stats after using both Void Strap and Frost Strap Fast Flags in Roblox after the latest patch. In this video, we're putting Void Strap versus Frost Strap head to head to see which one actually gives more FPS, lower ping, and smoother gameplay after the update. I'll also show you some of the best tweaks including CPU optimizations, RAM tweaks, and hidden Windows settings that can seriously boost your FPS. So without wasting any time, let's get started. Gear Up Booster is a great tool that helps reduce your ping while playing games, and it works with both wired and wireless connections. Download it safely from the official website using the link in the description and enjoy with lower ping. So in the first step, we're going to disable three background services that secretly slow down your PC and cause lag in Roblox. Press Windows key plus R, type services.msc, and hit enter to open the Windows Services panel. Scroll through the list and find SysMain. This one constantly preloads files in your RAM and can make Roblox stutter. Right-click it, select Properties, set Startup Type to Disabled, then click Stop and Apply. This will stop unnecessary memory usage that runs in the background. Next, locate Connected User Experiences and Telemetry. This service keeps sending your usage data to Microsoft using your CPU and even network power. Open its properties, set it to Disabled, and click Apply. That stops those hidden data transfers and keeps your resources focused on gaming. Finally, scroll down to Windows Search. This one continuously indexes your files, eating CPU and disk power. Right-click it, go to Properties, set the startup type to Disabled, and again click Stop and Apply. Once you've disabled all three, restart your PC. You'll instantly feel smoother gameplay, higher FPS, and far fewer lag spikes in Roblox. Step 2. Enable all CPU cores for maximum speed. You can get all the files from my official website. I give link in the description of this video. Now in the second step, we're going to unlock your CPU's full power because Windows doesn't always use all your cores at once. To do this, we'll use a free tool called Park Control by Bitsum. Once it's installed, open Park Control and look for the power plan called Bitsum Highest Performance. This plan ensures your CPU always runs at its maximum potential instead of slowing down to save power. Now, you'll see several settings. Set CPU Parking AC and CPU Parking DC both to off, 100%. This means no CPU cores will stay idle while gaming. Then do the same for Frequency Scaling AC and Frequency Scaling DC, setting them to off, 100%, as well. After that, enable Bitsum Dynamic Boost, which allows your CPU to use less power when you're idle, but instantly switches to full power when gaming. When you're done adjusting these options, Open Windows Power Options and choose Bitsum Highest Performance as your active power plan. Double check that all CPU parking and frequency scaling settings are off for both AC and DC. Finally, click Make Active and Apply. Now your CPU will run at full capacity during Roblox sessions, eliminating sudden slowdowns and giving you smoother, more consistent FPS. Step 3. Use Voidstrap Fast Flags to optimize Roblox performance. You can get all the files from my official website. I give link in the description of this video. Next, let's talk about Voidstrap, a very powerful optimization tool that helps you tweak Roblox's hidden performance settings called Fast Flags. These flags can give a noticeable FPS boost, reduce stuttering, and even make Roblox load faster. First, open your FPS Boost Pack folder and download the Voidstrap launcher. After downloading, double-click the installer and follow the on-screen setup steps carefully until it's installed. Once that's done, search for Voidstrap in the Windows search bar and open the app. Inside Voidstrap, go to Settings, then scroll down until you see Fast Flag Editor. Click the button that says, I know what I'm doing to unlock advanced options. Now click Add New to add your custom settings. Open the text file from your FPS Boost Pack. It contains optimized Voidstrap Fast Flags. These Fast Flags are safe and work on almost any PC, even low-end ones. Copy everything from that file, go back to Voidstrap, and paste it into the Fast Flags section. Click OK to save your settings, and if a confirmation box appears, click Yes to apply. Once done, close Voidstrap and open Roblox. Load into any game and test it. You should immediately notice smoother frames, faster rendering, and less input delay. This step alone can give a massive FPS increase, especially after the recent Roblox patches. In this step, I'm going to show you a helpful tool that can make your Roblox connection more stable. First, Download the Gear Up Booster tool from its official website. I've added the official link in the description. After downloading, install it on your PC. The first thing you'll need to do is sign in with either your Facebook or Google account. On the Home tab, you'll find all the games installed on your PC. 
If you go to the Games tab, you can also browse through thousands of games available for optimization. To improve your network and FPS, go back to the Home tab and select the game you want to boost. For example, I'll select Roblox, click the Boost button, and the tool will automatically start optimizing the game by finding the most suitable server for you. Next, choose your server region. Always select the nearest server for the most stable connection. In my case, the Middle East server works best. Now, go to the End tab where you'll see a list of servers available in your region. You can either choose the nearest one manually or let GearUp automatically pick the best option. For the best results, I recommend keeping it on automatic. Finally, close the window and launch your game using GearUp Booster. Step 4. Use Froststrap's fast flag settings to boost Roblox performance. You can get all the files from my official website. I give link in the description of this video. Now, let's compare and use Froststrap, another amazing tool like Voidstrap, but with better integration and visuals. Froststrap can boost FPS, fix lag, and even reduce ping by controlling fast flags in a user-friendly way. First, download the Froststrap launcher from your FPS boost pack. After installation, open your Windows search bar, type Froststrap, and launch the program. When it opens, click on Configure Settings, then go to the tab called Fast Flag Editor. Inside the Fast Flag Editor, you'll see several buttons like See Total Flags, Export JSON, and options to copy or delete presets. Click on I Know What I'm Doing, then hit Add New to create a new configuration. Now go back to your FPS Boost Pack, open the provided text file, and copy all the fast flag lines from it. These settings are specifically designed to optimize Roblox for more FPS, less lag, and smoother gameplay. Return to Froststrap, paste the copied fast flags into the fast flag section, and click OK. If a pop-up appears asking to confirm the changes, click Yes to apply them. After saving, close Froststrap and open Roblox. When you join a game, you'll see improved FPS, less input delay, and smoother visuals almost immediately. Froststrap tends to feel a little more stable than Voidstrap after recent patches, but both tools work great together when used properly. Step 5. Optimize RAM performance with ISLC, Intelligent Standby List Cleaner. You can get all the files from my official website. I give link in the description of this video. Now let's make sure your RAM is running efficiently. If your memory isn't optimized, Roblox can freeze or lag whenever your PC runs out of available memory. To fix this, we'll use a lightweight tool called ISLC, Intelligent Standby List Cleaner. After downloading ISLC, open it. At the top, you'll see your total RAM displayed in megabytes. Take that number, divide it by two, and type the result into the box labeled, free memory is lower than. For example, if you have 16,000 megabytes of RAM, type 8,000. If you have 32,000 megabytes, type 16,000. Next, enable these options. Start ISLC minimized and launch ISLC on user logon, so it runs automatically every time your PC starts. Also, check enable timer resolution and set it to 0.50. This makes your system respond faster and improves input timing. Then adjust the polling rate. Set it to 1000 milliseconds for newer PCs or 10,000 milliseconds if you have an older system. Once everything is ready, click Stop, then Start, and finally click Purge Standby List to clear unused memory. This will free up RAM instantly and keep Roblox running smoother for longer sessions. After setting this up, leave ISLC running in the background. It helps maintain consistent FPS and prevent lag caused by memory buildup. Step 6. Disable useless startup apps for faster boot and gameplay. The final step is to clean up your PC's startup apps. To fix this, right-click on the taskbar and select Task Manager. Then go to the Startup tab. Here, you'll see a list of all programs that launch when your computer boots up. Carefully go through the list and disable anything you don't really need to start automatically. For example, you can safely disable Spotify, Discord, Adobe Updaters, or other apps that you only use sometimes. But be careful not to disable anything that says Microsoft or System. Once you've disabled unnecessary startup items, restart your PC. You'll notice your computer boots up much faster and feels more responsive overall. And that's it. You've just completed the full Roblox FPS boost and lag fix setup using both Voidstrap and Froststrap after the latest patch. These steps are safe, tested, and work on almost every PC, even low-end ones.